This is Jupiter Today for the 7th of April, 2015. Jupiter Today is a daily podcast focusing attention on the dynamic Jupiter system for the purpose of monitoring activity. So today there's seven G Jupiter satellite events and two mutual events. At zero hours UTC, EO begins the day in quadrant three, heading west. Europa starts the day in quadrant four, heading east, but gonna soon be moving behind Jupiter. Ganymede starts the day in quadrant two, heading west. And Callisto spends all day in quadrant four, heading east. At zero hours, 28 minutes, Europa moves behind Jupiter. And at 5.38 UTC, Europa reappears from behind Jupiter's shadow. By six hours UTC, EO is at its western elongation and going to be moving into quadrant four, heading east. And Europa has successfully moved behind Jupiter and is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. At 7.28 UTC, EO goes through an apogee. That's the furthest it's going to be from Jupiter in this orbit. And that's 423,549.8 kilometers. And then at 11.59 UTC, Ganymede goes through a perigee. That's the closest it's going to be in this orbit. And that distance is 1,067,994 kilometers. By 12 hours UTC, EO is now firmly in quadrant four, heading east. And Europa is over in quadrant one, heading east. From 1234 to 1240 UTC, Ganymede eclipses Europa. And so that's about here and here. It's an eclipse. So this line would be parallel to the line to the sun, which is this line. The blue line here is the line of sight to the earth. So that's a pretty long shadow. It's a 5.8 minute event with an impact parameter of 0.743 arc seconds. So that's a pretty shallow eclipse. Estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.164 magnitudes, but they are a nice distance away. 116.34 arc seconds from Jupiter, with Ganymede and Europa being 75.23 arc seconds apart. At 1419 UTC, EO moves behind Jupiter, and at 1625, Ganymede begins its transit. At 1746 UTC, EO reappears from Jupiter's shadow. By 18 hours UTC, EO has successfully moved behind Jupiter, and is now firmly in quadrant one, heading east. And Ganymede is transiting. From 19 hours to 1904 UTC, Ganymede eclipses EO. That's a 4.5 minute event with an estimated magnitude flux drop of 0.134 magnitudes and an impact parameter of 0.771 arc seconds. Fairly close to Jupiter though. 40.92 arc seconds, with Ganymede and EO being 71.04 arc seconds apart. At 20 hours 2 minutes UTC, Ganymede's transit ends, and at 2102 UTC, the shadow of Ganymede ingresses. And then by 0 hours UTC, EO is still in quadrant 1 heading east, coming up on its eastern elongation. Along with Europa, Ganymede has now successfully transited Jupiter and is moving into quadrant three, heading east, and Callisto continues its motion eastward in quadrant four. Orbital ribbons for today. These are the spatial and temporal connections between the four Galilean moons as seen from above. And these connections to me look like ribbons that have been twisted. So here's the connection between EO and Europa, EO and Ganymede, EO and Callisto. The symmetry there continues. 
and then Europa and Ganymede, Europa and Callisto, and finally Ganymede and Callisto. Then I combine all of these to get that for today. Okay, something different for 24 hours of Jupiter's sky. We are now standing on the equator of Callisto, looking towards Jupiter. This is this dark area here is Jupiter. It's actually pretty much the backside of Jupiter, the dark side of Jupiter, the side that we never see. And we're going to stand on Callisto for the next 24 hours to see what's happening, just to get your yourself figured out. Europa is over here, and Ganymede is just coming around Jupiter, and Io is over here. So these are the most active moons that you'll see. There's not a lot of action over the next 24 hours, because Callisto does move quite slowly. But I'll let this run, and we'll see what happens. So I guess when we're sitting 1.8 million kilometers from Jupiter, there certainly isn't a lot of action, but we did see some motion with the three large Galilean moons. So I'll continue this probably for the next several days, maybe move to another moon tomorrow and come back to Callisto at some other time in the future. So the red spot crossed Jupiter's meridian three times today. First at 2 hours UTC, second at 11.56, and the third at 21.51 UTC. There were no new images, no new radio data, and no new papers. So at 0 hours UTC, the position of Jupiter on Earth's celestial sphere is a right ascension of 9 hours, 0 minutes, 29.8 seconds, and a declination of positive 18 degrees, 0 minutes, 20.7 seconds. The angular separation between Jupiter and the Sun is 115.732 degrees, and that's 0.99 degrees less than what it was yesterday. The phase angle is 9.702 degrees, and that's 0 0.086 degrees greater than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Earth today is 723,931,670 kilometers, and that's 2,145,677 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Earth of 89,403.21 kilometers per hour moving away from one another and that's 766.25 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. The distance between Jupiter and the Sun 
is 800,356,701 kilometers, and that's 43,745 kilometers greater than what it was yesterday. And that gives a radial velocity between Jupiter and the Sun of 1,822.71 kilometers per hour, also moving away from one another. And that's 0.75 kilometers per hour faster than what it was yesterday. Central Meridian at zero hours UTC, CM1, 102.73 degrees, CM2, 25.75 degrees, CM3, 310.04 degrees. So please subscribe, and thank you to everyone who is subscribed and watching. Also make sure to hit that like button, and let everybody that you know who might be interested in this podcast to watch and support the work that I'm doing. So you can send your comments and questions, suggestions, and images to the email shown. And until tomorrow, I bid you peace.